Okay, uh, this is a picture taken down where George Washington used to live and called Crawford's Cabin. If you look at it, you can see where their legs come down from the table, okay, and it is a colonial uniform that it is in. Now, um, I've got some pictures. The place is definitely haunted. I'm going to let you view this a while longer uh, to get your estimate on it. You can also see the arm extended too as well on this, so uh, take a good look and study it. Now, the table and everything and the mannequin is in the back. Okay, this is of a smokehouse on an investigation that we did in Greene County um, last year, and this place really, I mean, the energy really hits you hard. And this was an old smokehouse. And look at the echoplasmic vapor that uh, one of the uh, team members had taken and caught that um, on the top of the roof there. Okay, this was uh, by the smokehouse. This is a weird, uh, kind of an odd picture, and it is kind of dark. If you look at the base of the trunk, you'll see an image of a little girl standing there. So I'm going to let you study the picture. Okay, this was also taken in Crawford's cabin. Um, in the foreground, on the right side, that is a true blue orb. An orb is supposed to be solid like that. It's almost shaped like a light bulb. I have a closer view. I cropped just the orb out to give you guys an idea of what an orb is supposed to really look like. As for the pink stuff, I don't know. That looks like a hand or something. I, I don't know what to make of that. But this cabin is only one mile from me. Okay, this is taken at the same place in Greene County. I thought this was odd how the daffodils last year came up in the sign of a cross. That is how they came up. There's been some really strange happenings there. Uh, there has been, what I understand, alien, um, witness aliens and stuff like that. But this came up as the shape of a cross. Okay, here's the picture of the orb. I cropped it off the other picture to give you an idea. A real orb is supposed to look like a light bulb and it's like a solid matter. This is their way of conserving their energy before they come into an apparition. Okay, so I was on the verge possibly of having another apparition at Crawford's cabin. This would have made a beautiful picture and since I love taking pictures, I would have had this enlarged and put on my wall. If you notice, up here is the red. I've caught in many spirits, in fact, the pictures I have have white spirits in there, and this time this one has red. This was taken in the fall of last year. At the same time as the flash that I have the picture up on part one. Okay, and um, take a good look at it. They come in different colors. Okay, this picture here you guys haven't seen, but second before I flashed the second set, this was the first that I had taken, meaning it was before the band started playing. And through my studies, I have um, analyzed that music brings up the vibration to the spirit realm, okay? And as you look at this, you can see the white echoplasmic vapor, okay, where it was just starting. And then when the band started playing, in this next set of pictures, which I showed in part one, you can see within seconds how fast the echoplasmic vapor became available, okay, and was so apparent when I snapped the pictures, okay. So I do believe that when there's music playing, it brings up the vibration, and the spirits appear to like that. It brings them in. And these two sets were taken just within a second apart from each other. Okay, um, I have more pictures to show, okay, but through wallpaper and paint and I've tucked them away. 
So when I find them and get them all together again like they were in my scrapbook, I will keep posting more of them. But um, and if, if anybody, you know, wants to learn how to do paranormal investigations and want to go out on their own and have fun at it, you know, I can give them some nip nifty tricks. So, okay, that's the Try 76 signing off.